Hello people, this is Andrew again with the Dose of Drew and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of different gear. This is some hiking shorts, uh, athletic shorts, thin material, the kind of stuff I hear in the southwest of the United States where it's nice and warm a lot of the time, wear quite often and really makes a difference as to what I carry. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick review. This is a pair of shorts. I also have a pair of pants I'm currently checking on from a brand called, believe it or not, Little Donkey Andy. <laughs> as someone with the name Andrew, I can appreciate this. Or as my brother said, that's been his nickname for me my entire life. Uh, but that being said, uh, I'm not really sure if that's a person, but I'm pretty sure the head means if I was to look at this, I'm pretty sure that's aliens. Um, and if you're one of those people who only saw the D and K, you're welcome because now you can see the person. And if you're one of those people who only saw the person, you're also welcome. Now you can see the letters. Uh, I really like the logo. It's pretty cool, but though I'm pretty sure it's aliens. Um, this is really nice, you guys. There's, there's some uh, benefits to it. These are their hiking shorts, um, I believe. I will have to get that, but I actually think they may have a whole different name. This is this is their uh, non-hiking shorts. I will get their, I will get the exact model and put it in the description. But they are cargo. They have built-in cargo pockets. They have slant pockets. Um, it is thin elastane type material. It stretches. Right. It's really thin nylon type material. We'll go right through it here for case. Of, right. Seventy-five percent nylon, twenty-five percent elastane. I'm sorry, I'll get this up there where it makes more sense. Right? Nylon and spandex. So it's stretchy. It's got a stretchy waist. That being along, these are pretty cool. Uh, they're very light. They're stretchy. They both can get wet and dry quick. They're not, they look good. They drape quite well, being elastane and nylon and relatively thin. So they hang nicely. Um, the cargo pockets mean that you can carry a whole bunch of stuff without being puffy right around the waist or all the weight pulling directly on the waistband, which is nice. And it's a drawstring. For those, I'm not modeling these. So those of you who want to see these things on, tough tooties, cuties. Uh, this is really nice though. It's got good cut. It's got good seams. It's definitely well stitched. It's only single stitched, but they're folded over and rolled, which is nice. So you kind of get that double stitched feel and work to it, right? You can see there's some actual stitching on the rounds. So it's nice. It doesn't seem to come apart. Hell no. Ain't that interesting. Wow. Hope you guys enjoyed that. The phone fell. Bumped it just a little bit. That'll take me to the part that is, of all the things I like, the stretchy waistband. Keep bumping them. This is hard to do, you guys, with the phone right there. This is a new one for me, so appreciate it if you can bear with me. Um, comfy comfy waistband, the elastic and everything's down here. There's a little bit of roughness, but it's all, the strings roll over, so there's not a lot of pokies or anything burnt that would jump into, you know, hit your skin when you're going on this. They are not lined, so you'll probably want to wear something underneath. Unless you like to have everything drape over every contour, that's a whole different story. Uh, the drawstring matches color and it's relatively long and will probably bring me to my one complaint about these. Let's see if I can even show. All right, so we've got right, the drawstring is loose in the waistband. There is no stitching, no loops know anything in the back or whatever to keep this sucker from moving around. Um, I have already washed these twice and had to replace this back in the waistband both times. Right? I know the trick of tying it. I haven't done it yet. But I'll get there. The thing is, I shouldn't have to. I shouldn't have to grab the one pair of shorts that does this and tie it in a knot before I wash it. Um, I shouldn't have to lose my string every time or have a wire coat hanger ready with a hook on it that I can pull this thing around and grab it and then pull it back so I can easily restring these. My single greatest complaint, very, very truly, is that waistband. Now, there's part of me that would like to say, hey, it would be cool if there was a fly, right? Velcro or anything. I'm actually kind of glad there isn't. I don't need a fly. 
I really don't need to get into these. They're drawstring stretchy and thin. They can come down <laughs> just as easy as they can open. Uh, and it doesn't provide a weak spot with a whole bunch of extra stitching. It keeps nice solid fabric with nice double stitching in the front. And this is an area that shouldn't get a lot of work. Uh, especially with elastic in there. But uh, yeah, I, I wanted to do a quick review of these because uh, number one, the band, the brand is kind of a fun name, Little Donkey Andy. Um, I've got a couple of pieces. They have some nice looking clothes. Um, mostly this is more about what I wear on a more daily that kind of might give you guys an idea of what and why I carry. I can easily drop a pair of three on here, right? That wire clip, oh my God, it just rolls right in and it's light enough. Right, lightweight is great. I start pulling some other things in there. We start pulling some heavier stuff. Oh, here's one. This is not, I can't carry the blur in these shorts. One, that grippy stuff is just gonna destroy the nylon. Two, it's too heavy. This sucker is just so heavy when it comes to the shorts. Uh, and that goes with things like flashlights, other EDC gear. If I'm gonna be grabbing things like uh, Wow, you can tell this is new. We're still working on how we do this, how we get these things up and around with the phone that close. So thanks for bearing with me, you guys. Um, and again, I like their, I like the name. It matches, I'm Andrew, little donkey Andy, little alien guy. It seemed like a good good uh, brand to tr give a shot, to give a try to. Um, you know, it's worth looking at, worth a buy. It's worth the brand worth giving a try. Uh, I'll just let that one roll out instead of hold it back. But uh, yeah, this is this is really nice and it's thin. Can't do heavy weight, can't do light. I'm not throwing a million things in my pockets. I got a couple of I got a couple of cargos where I can carry my wallet and stuff, so these pockets can stay pretty light. And quite honestly, more often than not, um, this is gonna be funny. I'll even try and match colors, right? So I can blacken that. There's a couple of things, believe it or not this may even be heavier than the pair of three but the lightweight one yeah absolutely you guys i can easily match these things in right i can easily pull some stuff to try and match colors right to make it look like it goes i can stylistically match I'm just gonna let that sit there for a minute um as well as several other things it works as long as it's too not too rough not too grippy um, to give you an idea, even though I have filed down the grip, the milling on the G10 that is on the uh, Raider Oak, right? It's about right there. If you see all those little bumps where the pocket clip is, I have taken my Leatherman diamond file, filed down the G10. So it's flat. So that this sits on a smooth spot right there, right between the screws. I still can't use, carry this knife with these shorts. It's too hard to roll the nylon under the clip. And when I do, it destroys what little bit of fabric is here. I have thin fabric to be light. There isn't much fabric there to start tearing up. So as soon as it starts peeling that fabric apart, it's toast. It starts putting a hole in it and it puts a hole in my pocket. So I can't even, I can't do anything smooth. One of the nice things about spider coats in their wire clip they almost, they pretty much always make sure that it hits a smooth spot so that it's easy to get in and out and doesn't tear up your pocket. It's a beautiful thing. Smoothness, yeah, absolutely. You get something like this nice smooth aluminum. This is probably about as heavy as I like to carry. I have carried heavier. Um, I have carried, quite honestly, when uh, the bailout and the smock are, are a very much around the house. I feel like the smock's a little bit dirty because uh, this is actually one of the CPM 20 CV version, the really high corrosion resistance is one of my favorite uh, gardening knives, believe it or not. Cleans up well and is ridiculously easy to manipulate as well as get the tip in there. And, yeah, do gardening stuff, trimming, all that sort of stuff. If I don't have scissors, I'm out there and I see something. This is usually the knife I like to grab, but uh, it often goes with shorts. So this is the kind of conundrum that I have when it comes to where I'm at. I'm looking at eight to nine months of the year wearing fabric like this or something something similar or close to this. Uh, something light, something thin. Even my jeans are thin denim, you guys. They're not. They are not 
thick denim. They're thin designer style denim that is meant to be meant to be thinner and easier to wear in the heat. So yeah, man, I don't I don't have thick stuff. For those of you who are making knives with that in mind, I hope this gives you a little bit. I will give little donkey Andy a good thumbs up if I'm if I'm doing this. I don't know if they're quite at the uh, Goldilocks zone. There's a couple of things, but these are pretty good. If you're looking at it as a five star, we're absolutely perfect cashmere, the unobtainable, the, the five plus stars that is really the impossible garment would be my thing. Um, this is about a three and a half. There's some there's some design problems, um, some design choices that are great, but there's a lot of stuff that really gets in. The, the reinforced seams around the pockets when it comes time to, to get in there, they're not thick, but they're relatively deep and they'll hold up. You can carry a lot of stuff. It goes with, they have a lot of colors. Again, the drawstring is the worst. It is fixable by just tying a simp, by just simply tying off the drawstring before you wash them. But if you forget, it becomes a major pain in the butt, right? You have a major pain in the ass where you got to restring your shorts. Most modern shorts I have, most athletic shorts I have that have drawstrings, have them tightened in the back, right? It is actually stitched into the back right here, right? So that when you pull it, it cinches from the back to the front. You're, instead of just drawing that string, it actually is anchored to the back. So it never pulls out. It's anchored in the middle, and you're just drawstringing. That would be the simplest solution right here. Take this drawstring. Make sure that that's centered and then put a few stitches right through there. Simple, simple design fix for the biggest glaring flaw in these. And that's that unattached drawstring that just comes out in the first wash. They've got wonderful caps on the drawstring. This is not, I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I get that. Let me see. I have no idea how uh, you can see that that's plastic and not tape. That is a full plastic cap. That's nice. That is a wonderful, wonderful addition. They have these great little drawstrings on or, or pulls on drawstring pulls on the uh, zippers that don't come off. They're they're across multiple things. They're on like a on like a Y or a figure eight. So there's lots of great designs that make this seem like it'll last a while. There's lots of good stitching. Um, there's no button stitching to worry about. Again, my single biggest complaint about this quite truly is the unattached drawstring. Everything else is way up there. There's some, there's some stuff, hey, I don't like, you know, you may not like the aesthetics of the tape seams right here around the zipper to give it extra strength, but it's very, very practical and useful. Um, it'll take a wash. It's stretchy. It can catch. I can go to the beach. I can go hiking. I can do a whole lot of stuff. I can literally go hiking or to like a nice lunch in these with a polo. So I really like these. Uh, I'm going again, three and a half stars. I'm almost Goldilocks. If this had an attached drawstring, this would seriously be one of the better pair of shorts I have. It's a minor annoyance, except that it's not. It's a routine thing that I have to sit there and these pair of shorts I have to make sure I tie if I wear them every week or whenever I do wash. I, it, it is a small issue, but it's a continuous one that happens every time. So the it would be an easy thing for the factory to stitch a few, a couple of two or three stitches in, in each side of the, across the seam right here and anchor that drawstring in the middle so that you can still cinch, but you don't lose it in the wash. That is the single biggest glaring flaw. It used to be very common on a lot of shorts on this one. Um, it seems to be out of place or anachronistic. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wind that up, you guys. Again, the little, uh, pretty sure that's aliens. Uh, donkey, little Donkey Andy brand. It is a good pair of shorts. Uh, like I said, this is the uh, 32 to 34 inch waist, or it might be the 31 to 34. Um, 31 is unstretched. It goes way out. It stretches quite a ways. Um, and then there's a drawstring. So uh, yeah, I got the 31 to 34 and I'm closer to the bottom of that range. But uh, yeah, for everyone who wants to know, there's little things like this, right? We see this. Oh, there's a loose string. That's something. If you've never, ever, ever dealt with that, you guys. That is one of those things that can be pretty, pretty tr troublesome. But it is nice to know that when you have nylon, right, you see these couple of strings here. 
you can technically burn them down. There. All right. Let's see if we can see if I can't get that more on camera. All right. So now I've burned those strings down. They don't show up. That loose end is is not loose anymore, so it's not getting pulled on. There's no none over here, so that looks like the end of the stitching. That's the only one, I, and I actually didn't find that until I was doing this when I had been going over this. Prior to the review, I hadn't found any stitchings like that. Just did, obviously, in the review. So I was going to say that there's none, but obviously I just found one. So that was it though. That's the one loose string I found outside of inside the draw the drawstring, right? Where you can see a couple of loose ends, but most of it's pretty tight. That's pretty good. Most uh, Chinese manufactured garments, which I believe this one is, made in China. Yep, made in China. Um, I haven't cut that out yet. But uh, yeah, most Chinese ones seem to have a lot of nylon strings hanging off. They kind of just let that roll. This one only had that one. And again, I only found that just now. So uh, yeah. Pretty good, you guys. Highly recommend it. Uh, you can find these on Amazon, which is where I found them. Um, Little Donkey Andy, they have an Amazon store. They have a lot of good stuff. Pants. Zip. If you're a hiker, you guys, they have zip-off pants lines. If you hike in warm weather, um, changing conditions a lot, they have zip-off pants. They have all, double zip-off pants that go to, like... Uh, long shorts and then short then uh, over like below the knee and over the knee shorts they have a lot of good stuff i have been impressed i have only tried the shorts uh, routinely like i said i have a pair of uh, thin pants have similar material that i'm also going to be trying um, but i recommend them little donkey andy good shorts relatively good gear um, will hold a lot of material i can carry some stuff on a hike i can carry some relatively you know decent solid gear there's enough room i can go on a short hike i can go to the beach carry my wallet some normal everyday stuff as well as just still be comfy in my shorts with a with the, you know if i carry a, a secondary knife on me if i carry a main main knife i carry a lightweight one that will easily plop on this material that being said, you guys, I'm going to wrap this up now. That That is my review of the shorts by Little Donkey Andy. These are the my first foray into this brand, but it is by far, far from the last. <clears throat> Enjoy it. I'll get a couple more. They have a couple of different styles I want to try. So with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. You guys, highly recommendable. Um, again, there are a few couple design. If the drawstring is a deal breaker for you, then that is one of those things you can appreciate the design, but you ain't never going to want to lose a drawstring again. By all means, that's, that is one of my biggest complaints on these as well. That being said, it's one of the only ones I have. They're well made. They're reasonably priced. They have a cool little logo that's uh, interesting. Definite style. They keep everything well thought out. They think about things like the seams, the stitching. Um, and the fabric, it's, it's really well made and well done. I, I recommend Little Donkey Andy. Um, again, this is a three, and it's not quite four stars. I wouldn't quite call it Goldilocks. It would definitely be Goldilocks with that uh, with the uh, anchor drawstring. But that being said, you guys, very recommendable, especially for the price. I believe these are right around 30 bucks, which is a little expensive for shorts, but you can get them much, much more expensive. Um, and uh, they they look like they'll last a while. I don't have a long term, but I've had these for almost a month now and worn them fairly regularly and carried stuff in them, um, regular daily carry and that sort of thing. And I have had no problems and they don't look any worse for the wear. So they, so far my initial assessment is they look like they'll hold up, which is something that I appreciate very much in clothing, uh, especially this day and age. So uh, once again, you guys, recommendable definitely get it they come in multiple colors i got the forest green because because it's, it's a nice one um everything else being said you guys uh i'll go i'll go ahead and wrap this up definitely recommendable good lots of good sizes more standard u.s sizes too where large is like 31 to 34 you know extra large is up in, i believe is like 33 to 37 something like that so there's a range they're stretchy. They have a drawstring to help you make up any differences there. Or if you're in transit where you're trying to lose weight like me, you can keep cinching down without having to buy new clothes. 
Um, but uh, yeah, that being all that together makes these a good pair of shorts, something you can use for everyday carry in warm weather or even around the house. They're comfortable on the waist. They stretch when you move so they don't bind up or if, if you're trying to take a big step, they don't like you don't have to like hike up your shorts or anything like that. They move with you. They're comfy. They can carry a lot of stuff. They do tear up on some of the heavier duty knives with all that grippy stuff that you don't really need, but I don't carry those and I don't carry a lot of big knives and I tend to go for the uh, definitely under four ounces, but I even try to go for three ounces and under most of the time or right around that three ounces, which three ounces is pretty heavy for this fabric, uh, but it's still, still doable. And uh, yeah. Easy to recommend. Uh, if I haven't uh, re repeated myself a couple of times now, I'm going to say it again. Recommendable. Little Donkey Andy. Little alien letter symbol dude. Uh, again, all that stuff is great. Check them out. Go look at their look at their site. They, do they did not send this to me. I found them online. I thought it was cool. I bought some. And since it was a good high quality product, I thought it was worth letting people know because it's really hard for a lot of people these days with all of the stuff we can buy and all of the crappy fake brands out there to know which one's good and which one's just crap and I'll, I'll tell you whether you agree with me or not they're a legitimate brand little donkey andy they've been around for a while they seem to have a pretty good eye for what's good and uh yeah recommend them go check them out have a have a blast trying to see what fits you if you're into this kind of stuff if you if you're not this probably won't matter but uh once again Good shorts, recommendable. I'll put the link down below as well as the name of these shorts that it just escaped me while I was doing this. And uh, if you guys have any recommends, recommendations for other brands, by all means, put them in the comments. Uh, if you have something like this, we're like, hey, I bought this brand, it's really good. I'm always looking for stuff like this, shorts, pants that I can wear if they're slacks that are thin. I do not do well in the heat and it's usually 70 to 90 plus here where in the Southwest where I live, so this is, the kind of stuff I get a lot. Um, and again, I'll wrap it up right there, you guys. Good shorts, good brand, uh, worth checking out. Uh, like, subscribe, come back in the morning, do it again, see if you've changed your mind. Once again, this has been Adosa Drew. I am said Andrew. Everybody have a great day.